Good afternoon guys, just got home uh, after work. Uh, not gonna be able to pull out the motor like I wanted to today. It's a little bit hotter than what I thought it was. So pretty much it's a 302. Uh, and um, let's take a look at the frame rails and the engine bay just so you guys kind of see what we're dealing with. So this is what the engine bay looks like. And it's got the power steering gearbox right there. And then if you look at the frame rails right over here, uh, you could notice how it's got some nice little holes in there. This is going to be the radiator support. Pretty much the radiator would go here. This is the AC condenser. And then you have the battery tray right over there and where the battery tray would sit. So that would obviously need to get replaced. Aprons or fender aprons is what they call them. Pretty much shot on the top and uh, all the way to the back. So here's a look at the rails. I'm gonna turn on the light. Hopefully I can make it work. Not sure if you could see it. So this is where the steering gearbox bolts onto on the frame rail. And then you could start seeing where the frame is rotted out. No spindles on it, so I am looking for some. It was a disc brake car, powered disc brakes. And you could see how somebody kind of rigged the coil spring there to either lower it or try to fix some suspension palms that they had. But here's the front frame rail. Thing of beauty. <laughs> and then we'll uh, take a look from the, the front of it. So notice how the hood latch is twisted. Most of this was kind of done when they were pulling it out of the, the yard. Take a look at the front frame rail, passenger side. And you see how the um, the valence got twisted up when they put the record to it. And then if I move this, the valence, you could kind of see the bracket, bumper bracket, dangling. It should be nice and uh, stiff right there, but it's not. And then the rest of the rail. So this is where the idler arm bolts onto. And then this should be solid. It should be a nice triangle torque box. And you can see a little hole from the firewall. So, um, I'll probably shoot a video tomorrow after I get out of work and uh, hopefully, well, pretty sure I will be able to pull out the motor tomorrow even though it's going to be a little bit hotter but today was just a exhausting day at work. So, just a brief look at it guys, uh, hopefully get back to you guys tomorrow and uh, hopefully uh, everything goes well and we yank this motor out so I will show uh, the process of taking this motor out. Uh, Alright guys, talk to you later, take it easy.